one of them, I'll, I'll tell you one that's research-based and one that's anecdote-based. So the research-based one is that identical twins raised apart or as alike in personality as identical twins raised together. Hmm. And that is a very counterintuitive finding, but one that we found and one that colleagues have since discovered as well. And so what that tells us is that to the extent that you're similar to family members and personality, it's not because you're living together, it's because you share genes in common. Now, environment plays a role, but not shared environment. The environment that's critical in personality formation are the unique environmental effects you have apart from your family, such as maybe you took an exotic trip or you had a particular trauma or you won the lottery or something like that. Those, that's what we talk about. So that to me was, was amazing when mm. we first discovered that. And then the anecdotally, there's a pair of twins I've written about fairly frequently, Jack and Oscar, who uh, were raised apart having been born in Trinidad to a Jewish Romanian father and a German Catholic mother born in 1933. And after six months when their relationship soured, the mother took Oscar with her to Nazi Germany where he was in the Hitler Youth and became very um, pro-German. Not, not a Nazi, he was 12 years old when the war ended, but he was in the Hitler Youth and liked it because he could play sports and get out of going to church. And the other brother, Jack, was raised Jewish and spent time in an Israeli kibbutz and so when they were reunited at 21, it was a very cold reunion because they didn't speak the same language and they'd had such different experiences. But are you still hearing me? Yeah, I am. I'm just a little in shock by the story. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't tell if the screen froze or not. Should I say this again? No, no. I think we got it. All right. But then they met again when they were 40 and they were in the Minnesota study of twins raised apart. Now... What fascinated me most when I spoke to Jack was Jack said that if our positions had been reversed, we would have ended up embracing a philosophy and a history that we currently despise. Mm -hmm. And that's quite true. I mean, where you are born, I think makes a big difference. You know, you're born in the US, or you're born in, in Germany or, or wherever you're born, you tend to adopt the culture of your country and you don't necessarily embrace all the beliefs uh, Oscar did not, but he was very pro-German. He questioned Nazism when he was older and all this sort of thing. But had their positions been reversed, Oscar would have been raised as a Jew. Yeah, It would have been a completely different thing. And you know, actually, I made this point um, in, the, in the New Yorker magazine about, oh, I don't know, a couple of months ago, there was this fascinating article by Joshua Rothman on living alternative lives. Hmm. And I sent a letter in that actually got published. <laughs> saying that the only people who really can see themselves in a life unlived is an identical twin raised apart. I mean, all of us can imagine what would it be like if we married somebody else or took a different job or went to a different school. We can imagine it, but these twins can actually see it. Yeah. And that to me was one of the most shocking and yet uh, impressive takes on what it would be like had you been raised in a different environment. 